at the end of each exchange between kegs and siren, kegs is going to send not only operation data, 10 by 10 or much more if we do a run. In this case, it is sent by pack of 20,000. But at the end, kegs is always sending a copy of the whole Apple 2GS memory we name snapshot data. So for an Apple 2GS from 03 with 5 megabytes of RAM, every time we do something, kegs is sending at the end of the operation the snapshot data. So snapshot data, once we have it in Siren, can be searched and analyzed using the view menu. So we can for example, display window showing the content of the memory. Uh, <clears throat> could be any location in memory you can resize by yourself. Could be some specific location like stack. So stack is a reverse part. So uh, this is what I've been put on the stack. And this is a pointer to the next free byte. Most of the time on view uh, window, when you move the mouse, you have data which are computed automatically uh, in this part. Sometimes it could be on the title. So it's a way to explore the content uh, of the memory. Um, if we have more in the graphic part, uh, you can analyze and, of course, look at the graphic page. This is HGR with few lines of text. You, you can move the text part. When it's text, up to you to choose the language. So if it's French, a character could be a little, a little bit different. You can also activate or not uh, the blinking of character and so on. So all this little view, and of course, you can uh, change uh, the location of the pointer of the HGR graphic page. You can do that <clears throat> in any uh, text or graphic mode for Apple II and Apple II uh, GS mode. Uh, of course, when you are running an Apple II GS mode, the idea is more to focus on the SHR. SHR uh, has his own, I uh, would say, uh, view window. So once again here, you can expand a little bit the information to grab uh, the SCB uh, information by displaying the border. You can ask to disactivate or not the field mode. There is no field mode here, so that not really change. You can ask to know where is currently the uh, spot. And uh, when you move a little bit uh, the content, you have uh, the spot that is moving uh, on your screen. So you can see exactly if you raise the bin, you know exactly uh, where it is. So basically at the junction of uh, these two uh, green uh, red part. Uh, if you have, of course, uh, the picture from the SHR, you can ask for a second one, a third one, as many as you want. So you are not usually limited in the number of um, pictures you can display. And of course, you can change the location of the graphic page. So for example, the E1 is a real graphic page that the user see, and the E, uh, the O1 is the uh, shadowing. So for example, on Apple 2 GS Karate, <coughs> the user moves in the lower part uh, of the screen, and we have a copy of the background in the upper part of the screen. So when we need, when we redraw a sprite, to uh, clear the sprite before redrawing the, the next one, we simply have to make a copy from bank 01 to 01. And of course, it's faster than to copy from another bank to, to bank uh, 01. So this kind of tricks can be, of course, uh, easily see when you can have several look at several uh, locations. The software, when you run it, <laughs> You do not change the content. You change the content only at the end when you receive finally uh, the full uh, uh, the full copy of the snapshot data. You can also access to, for example, the RAM sound uh, if you need to explore it. Uh, it's of course outside of the uh, Apple II GS memory part, but it has the sound, so it could be convenient to understand if the sound has been uh, loaded in the right part. You can access uh, to battery RAM for all the settings of the Apple II GS. You can uh, directly access to the dock register. So there is 32 uh, oscillator with all the <coughs> possible value and the three global ones. You can also make a search uh, inside the memory. So I can search for, for example, Apple II 
uh, JS string. So if it's a string, I'm going to search by text. Uh, I'm okay to search in FastRAM, SLOWRAM, uh, ROM, and DOCRAM. And uh, it will it tell me that there is 14 location uh, of the string in memory. So I can uh, search and locate exactly where they are. So you can not only look at the information directly in the way they should be displayed, could be a text page, uh, a graphic page, could be during memory dump. You can also follow a uh, place of interest, for example, quick watch. Here we can find back uh, some of the information. So in this case, I have chosen uh, um, a symbol named GPS Sprite ID, ID, which is ID of one of the sprites currently on the screen. So if I'm moving a little bit, <clears throat> the value uh, is updated. I can, uh, of course, take all of my value of interest and save them in a file and reload them uh, a, little, a little bit later. It could be convenient if we have to follow very specific variable uh, as debug uh, in, the, in the software. Most of the time, when you are facing uh, data, uh, you can save uh, the data outside. So when it's a picture, you directly uh, create a, a GIF file uh, that could be reused in your own software to analyze. You can, uh, most of the time, simply uh, take a copy paste of the data. If I'm in the memory area, for example, I can at any time uh, copy paste the information in, uh, in the text part. So the view data is convenient way to access the copy of the memory snapshot, the Apple 2 GS memory, and to look at it, uh, search inside and uh, view what is inside.